Hey, hey, it's Mrs. Massey, and we are talking about computational fluency. And today's strategy, we are going to be talking about the double strategy. And with our double strategy, we are going to be focusing on our multiplication facts times two. Now, you may be wondering, why am I spending my time thinking and talking about the double strategy when I may already have a strategy of counting by two? Well, counting by twos is a fantastic strategy, and if it works for you for your basic facts, awesome, keep that up. But I want you to open up your mind to the possibilities of how this strategy of doubling may be able to help you when you begin multiplying multi-digit numbers. So our double strategy of times two, we are going to use the example of two times four. And when I have two times four, I want for you to try to get in your mind the idea of if I ever see a multiplication problem with times two, I want to think of that as two groups of whatever my other number is. So for this problem, two times four, I have two groups of four. Whenever I see that multiplication symbol, instead of saying times, I'm going to say the phrase groups of. Sound good? All right, so for this problem, I have two groups of four. So I literally have a group of four here and another group of four here. So four plus four equals eight. Now, I could have skip counted two, four, six, eight, and that works fantastic. But let me throw something out to you. What if I have a problem like this? 373 times two. Let's say one day down the line, you have 373 puppies and someone says, I'm doubling that. I need two groups of 373 puppies. Can you imagine? That's insane. I could multiply that, but what if I don't have the skills to multiply that yet? What if I haven't learned how to multiply a multi-digit number yet? Well, we can use the double strategy. I see a multiplication symbol, so that means groups of, and I see the number two, so that means I can double it. So 373 plus 373. So I wouldn't need to multiply when I know the doubles strategy, which ultimately is multiplying, right? So let's do some other examples. What if my problem is two times three? So if I have the problem two times three, that means I have two groups of three. So three plus three is six. So that means that two times three equals six. Same with three times two. You're just flipping the fact family. Let's do one more example. What if my problem is two times two? Well, two times two simply means two groups of two. Two plus two equals four. So two times two equals four. That can be used with anything. You could do 19 times two. 19 plus 19. You could do a million times two. A million plus a million, okay? All right, so use that strategy when you are out and about in the real world, when you are trying to multiply something by times two quickly, all you gotta do is double it. If you have any questions, come find me. Have a good day.